Welcome, seriously welcome, to a John Leg Fragment Tribute. You know what, I'm so pleased you've come to this channel. I'm honoured and I, it is my privilege. And I would consider, if you did a cheeky thumbs up, it my honour. And if you were to subscribe, well, that would just be awesome. So thank you very much. Right, now, I came across a situation recently where someone asked me about a Guarlaine fragrance and I went, I've never ever had a bottle of any Guarlaine fragrance. I thought, come on, Leggy, you need to get one into your collection. But because I didn't know anything about the range, I thought, hmm, which one do I go for? Because they do quite a few. So I thought, come on, Leggy, use your noddle, order a sample. Now, I'd recommend this to anyone. Most retailers have a system whereby you can order a 5 or a 10 mil vial, a sample. I'd recommend that to anyone so that you can work out whether it's bottle worthy or bin fodder. Okay, so this one is in a sample version like this. And let's see if I can get this so you can see it. So it's Gualain Laham Ideal EDC. Now, in the fragrance world, you have Eau de Cologne, which is what this is, which is sort of like an aftershave, a sort of splash aftershave sort of thing. Then you have EDT or Eau de Toilette, and then you have EDP or Eau de Perfume. They go up in strength as you go through those different versions of the fragrance. So I kind of thought to myself, hmm, am I doing the right thing? Because Eau de Cologne is at the bottom of the scale. It's going to be the weakest. But I thought, you know what? Let's try it. Let's see if I like a Guarlaine fragrance. So this is what happened. This is a cheeky little pop-up. Let's go for it. Okay. My instant reaction is it zoomed me back to the original Chanel Poor Monsieur, okay, but a very muted version of it, okay. It's quite fresh, it's quite citrusy, and in my nose, it's kind of a little bit old school. It's not terribly old school, it's not like you wouldn't say oh, it's so dated, but it is an older school fragrance. But because it's fresh, it kind of keeps it okay. Now, you get like a, a, a citrusy, which I think is like an orange vibe, which is beautiful over the top. There's a slightly cherry, there's a cherry almond sort of vibe. And I think there's a few woods in there. Okay, now for me, <coughs> excuse me, for me, it didn't blow my world apart. And it didn't make me think, wow, I need a bottle of this straight away. Okay, in fact, I've got to be honest with you, I don't think I will be biting a puddle of this because what happened for me is that the only time I could ever smell it is when I did that. When I was far away from the fragrance, like this far, arm's length away, I couldn't smell it. And I did put quite a bit on. In fact, okay, I gave it its due. I had a shower, clean skin, I moisturised and I put it on the moisturiser. Okay, so I gave it a good shot at trying to impress me. And whilst the smell is beautiful, although it's not absolutely sort of groundbreaking, the performance for me on my skin and in my nose kind of disappointed. Right, now, hopefully you're the same as me. I like a fragrance to sort of set up a scent bubble Round you, and I'm not too bothered whether it fills the room or fills the car, but at least a scent bubble around you so that as you're moving, especially if you go uh, into a room or out of a room, you can smell it on you. And this one, it kind of doesn't really, it sort of sits on the skin, it's nice on the skin, but away from the skin. I actually couldn't really detect it. And I've tried it a couple of times. I've given it sort of a really good crack at the whip. And I have to be honest, it may be because it's the EDC, the cologne, the weakest one, but the performance kind of did nothing for me. If the smell was stronger, if it projected a bit better, I would actually possibly go and buy a bottle of this because the actual smell is beautiful. Okay. So, I've now switched the comments on. 
I've worked out how to do it. So leave me a comment, see if you think the same thing, that it's a beautiful smell, but it just doesn't project, it doesn't even get off the skin. Leave me a comment, let me know. Or maybe you can say, well, you know what, try this leggy, put it on your clothes, it might last longer. Or maybe someone's different skin DNA works better with it. But for me, it's kind of like I'm thinking, I'm glad I got a sample, because for me, it wasn't really bottle worthy. Okay, so thank you for coming to this channel. Thank you for watching this review. You know what you're gonna get on this channel. You're always gonna get an open, honest-hearted review. I'll tell you whether it's good, bad, whether it's worth buying or whether it's not worth considering. So there you go. If you would thumbs up, if you would subscribe and if I'll see you next time, that would be awesome. So stay safe, spray fragrance every day. Stay safe, I've said that. Take care, goodbye.